Okay, this is going to be a uh, brief demo video of the ammo can meter. Basically, this is the boot up screen. If you see the uh, purplish numbers in the lower left corner, <coughs> that gives you the MAC address, software version, <coughs> and the port, which helps you set it up on the internet, which we'll get to in a, in a separate movie. Okay, first function we'll look at here, V1, I1. Okay, this measures a voltage, a current, and the angle. The V1, I2 mode is identical, except it uses the clamp-on input. So I won't go into that. But you notice I just applied voltage and current. The epic source is a little bit off. That's why it reads 120.17. The epic source actually is at 120.21, and you notice the amps are a little different because all, they're a little off. I have set it 45 degrees. See, the angle is 45.0405. The meter calculates displays, and displays the watts, bars, power factor, and the harmonic distortion in percent of both the voltage and current. The power quality button, press that gives you the individual harmonic levels. You know, so I changed the EPIC to 120 hertz. The V2 harmonic now reads the voltage and current instead of the uh, fundamental. So it gives you, that gives you the amplitude of the harmonic. Over here in the vector, the, the THD is the percent harmonic distortion. Okay, <clears throat> as I said, the V1 I2 is identical, except for uh, the use of the clamp-on. There is another mode. Okay, the uh, other mode for voltage and current is the V1 I3 mode. And I'll go ahead and clear the peak here. What this does is this uses the 5,000 amp Rogowski coil input, and it will allow you to uh, to a don't has a peak ammeter, peak memory ammeter, and it will allow you to time a protective device. Other than that, I just turned the voltage on. Other than that, the features are the same as the V1 I1 and the V1 I2. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start the current. Okay, I turn the current on. You notice that the, it's reading the uh, current amps and the peak amps, and the timer is incrementing. We'll say that the breaker that you're testing with an external source has tripped right now. Okay, I turn the current off. You notice that the timer stops. The peak ammeter indication remains. And if I want to zero that, I just go to power quality and back to vector and zero it out. And uh, that is the unique feature of the V1 I3 mode. Once again, V1 I3 uses the 5000 amp row coil input. V1 I2 uses the clamp on as the current source. V1 I1 uses the hardwire binding post as the current input. Okay, as another feature, it will also measure a, a current versus a current. As you can see here, this is uh, the hard wire binding post input versus the clamp on. It will measure those two currents and give you the angle between them and give you the harmonic distortion percent of both currents. Okay, in the V1, V2 mode, turn the voltage on here. It gives you the two applied voltages to the voltage input. It gives you the angle between them. And in this case, they're the same voltage. You see the angle is 0 0.02. And, uh, but unique to phase angle meters, it gives you the, if it, this is connected to a three phase system, in other words, if V1 is uh, VCB and V2 is VAB, it will give you those two voltages, the angle between them, nominally 60 degrees, and then it will also give you the positive sequence voltage, the negative sequence voltage, and the unbalanced factor. Since they're the two vo voltages are the same, and in phase here the positive sequence and the negative sequence are equal, 
and the unbalanced factor is unity. So this helps you detect any unbalanced conditions that may exist which can be harmful to connecting connected motors. So this is very uh, helpful, especially if you have like open delta PTs on a metal clad switchgear. Very helpful in identifying the uh, voltage unbalance that may exist. And uh, let's see, that's about it. I